No one can say exactly when this election began, but it ends today. As America woke up, millions across the country headed out to cast their ballots. What no one knows is how many voters are on the move, shifting traditional loyalties, maybe enthusiastically backing one candidate, perhaps simply voting to keep the other one out. Hillary Clinton voted early this morning near her home in New York State, accompanied by husband Bill. She could only have had a couple of hours sleep as her punishing schedule went deep into last night. In Philadelphia, she was joined on stage by familiar faces. Can't start a fire. Bruce Springsteen providing the music, the Obamas providing political star power. America's first black president and first lady calling on voters to elect the country's first female president. A country where a passionate, outspoken young woman, determined to do all the good she can, can go on to break the highest, hardest glass ceiling and become our president. They have been rivals, but that is now in the past. They are firmly on the same side today. There is a clear choice in this election, a choice between division or unity, between an economy that works for everyone or only those at the top. So now the campaigns are finished, it's over to the voters. Here in New York, Hillary Clinton is expected to win. And why is she getting your vote? Um, because she's not him, most of all. <laughs> That's the most important thing. I would never vote for a misogynist sex assaulter. I believe Hillary's corrupt. I know Trump's not the best candidate, but I can't support anyone like Hillary Clinton. Okay, do you think he's got a chance? Yes, I do. He probably ran this race as a joke and didn't think he would get this far. And here he is right now. So is it more a vote against him rather than for her? It's more against him. Um, Who for? Uh, Hillary. She goes into today the favorite, but Americans have watched a strange and unpredictable election play out, and it could have one more surprise. Andy Bell, 5 News, New York.